This is a scammer that's trying to pretend to be Microsoft, and we're about to destroy him, all because he makes one crucial mistake. Could you click on yours and just tell me what I'd have to click on after that? You know, like that. That's his full name, email, and photo. And with a little digging, we were able to find even more photos of this guy. So of course, we're gonna share them with you guys, but more importantly, we're gonna show them to the scammer. Bukesh, do you want me to send you your picture from your Facebook? All right, guys, so let's break down the scam a little bit. This is your typical Microsoft tech support scam where you're surfing the internet and you get a pop-up on your computer. And it's gonna say all these crazy things and really scare the victim into calling up the scammer and hearing their pitch. Now, these scammers actually have a bit of a twist to their scam. They'll go through and say that your computer is vulnerable and susceptible to viruses, but then also that there's been some unusual activity on your bank. So they're blending together Microsoft and your bank to try to steal as much money as they can. In this case, the scammer wants to steal 7,500 bucks from me. Now, on the other hand, this scammer is an idiot. He's very new at his job and we actually reverse access to a system. So while we have access to the scammer's computer, we're able to see everything that's going on his screen. We were able to download his script. And this guy is such an absolute idiot that he doesn't even say anything when we're reading word by word what he's about to say to me. I don't think this guy is going to be a scammer for a very long time. Hi, thank you for calling Microsoft. How can I help you? Hi, um, I was just on with this side, Jennifer. She was trying to connect a server, an Anydex server, to my computer. All right, ma'am, just hang on. Give me one second. I'm trying to install certain temporary security. I have to talk to the local technician as well here, who is available, who can work on the system. So that because it's a, it's a data hacking which has taken place, okay? Okay. Uh, those hackers, they try to attack on your identity and your network. That Wait, they attacked my identity? Yes, ma'am. They try to attack your identity and I'm going to explain you. Uh, make sure, as you know, that all these phone lines are not safe and secure. So if we got disconnected, I will give you a call back. You can just note down my callback number, okay? Okay. All right. Can you confirm your first and last name? Yes, it's Vivian. Okay, I got it. All right, well, I got it too. I do have your. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. So, see, I have your callback number. Make sure if we got disconnected, I will always call you back. Your phone line are not safe and secured. Oh. That could be tempered from the hacker side. So, always I will give you a callback by 615 number. My name is Mike Connor. If any third person try to call you, do not answer the call, okay? I'm going to guide you step by step. Please open your Google. Okay. Let me see here. Um. Right. Okay, so Google Chrome? Yes, ma'am, Google Chrome. Right, you can go to Google, search Advanced Identity Protector. Advanced Identity. identity. Okay. You will see the option like Download Now Windows. Can you please tap on Download? I tapped on it. Okay, the Advanced Identity Protector will run a scan on the computer so that you will get to know which information is not safe and which data has been compromised, okay? So it might take some time. You well, can how just long have a does glass the scam run at. for? Max, it will take about up to two minutes. Okay. So first of all, I have to ask you a few questions because I need to make sure your all the information and your all the credentials are safe and secure. Can you tell me that? Do you use any device in your home to go on Facebook? Like Facebook, maybe online shopping or playing games online or paid bills online? Watching movies on right. Netflix, YouTube, etc. Right, ma'am. And do you do online banking as well? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for the information. I'm going to check everything for you, okay? Don't Not place a call on there. hold for a minute or anything, please. No, ma'am. I will not place a call on hold. I will be on call with you. Okay. I can see here, accordingly, it seems that there have been... Hopefully there wasn't visit. an illegal visit and my identity is not going anywhere, is it? Yes, ma'am. That is correct. What I'll probably do is I'll check, I'll check my online banking and I'll see if there's even a dollar transaction or even a few cents and I'll let you know. Um, yeah, sure. Can you confirm your zip code? Yeah, 34230. Alright, and you are in Sarasota, Florida? Yes. 
okay you have to go to your local chase bank okay the chase bank that is very close to you because one bank is at 240 north washington boulevard how far is five it's probably eight, 13 one, minutes Road? it's probably 13 minutes well there's also if you okay, look down there. there's also one down yep that's eight minutes away and then there's one that's four all right no problem so can you please drive there I will be on call with you and you have to drive to the Chase Bank. Did I just ask you while I have you? My son is trying to change his Gmail photo. How do you change that? That's a different part, ma'am. I'm not here to help you on that particular subject. Your bank is about to get closed. If you drive now, I believe that you will be reaching before 435 or 440. Okay, yeah. can you just really quickly, the, the part about the, the Gmail photo, like, could you just click on, if you have one, could you click on yours and just tell me what I had have to click on after that? You know, like the, what do I need you to click on to after tap, that? You simply have to tap on the photo. So you tap on your photo. Why do you want to tap on my Gmail? No, I just, because I need to know the exact what I need to do. Ma'am, that's a different story. Once you come outside the bank, I can guide you. Okay. Right now your bank is supposed to get closed. You know, okay. you um, have to do hurry. Okay. Right. So once you get in the car, let me know, okay? Okay. So one of the really crazy things in this call was we had the scammer actually open up his Gmail with his photo, full name, and his email address. Now, somebody watching the stream actually knew this scammer personally. So we were able to get very specific information and share that back to the scammer. His previous job, the exact location, even down to the mall that he worked in. I'm sitting outside of my bank. What do I need to tell them? Ma'am, you have to go inside the bank okay. and ask the banker, ask the cashier that you have to withdraw cash of 7500 get the receipt, please come outside the bank and let me know. Okay. Put the phone in the pocket, go inside and make sure the conversation between you and me, that will be audible, okay? Like between you and the banker, I can Oh, hear well, I'm not allowed to do that. So um, Amazon, they told me to hang phone. up and just you call them back. put the phone in the pocket. Please go inside. Okay. okay. And once you come outside, let me know. Okay, I'll call you back. Thank you. Stay stay with me. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm looking for James. Yes, Miss Roger. Hi. This is it James. Hi. Yep. So I, I are you in the washroom or something? No, ma'am. I'm in the office. Did you oh. come outside the bank? Yeah, well I, I'm sitting in my vehicle right now. Um I'm about to drive home now. And ma'am, I told you before, Ms. Roser, that while you will be in the bank, you are supposed to stay on the call. So why did you hang up the call? Oh, well, I, I mean, I thought that I could just call you back at, when I was done. How far is 1166 South Tamiami Trail? Probably a little while. I sent you the address. Please drive there. Ma'am, once you reach there, these are the federal machines available. Okay. okay. You have to deposit this money onto the machine and you have to scan the secure wallet as well. So I will send you the wallet once you reach there. I just pulled in over here. What is this place? What do you see there? What is that place? It looks like some type of station. Okay. Inside the gas station, you will see the machine. Okay. It says Janik Puri. What is that? Okay. Can you what go inside that? the store? What does Janik Puri mean? J-A-N-A-K-P-U-R-I? Janik Puri? I'm sorry, what did you say? What is the Janik Puri mobile shop? What is that? No, I don't know any place name by that name. Okay, because that's what it says here. It says the Janik Puri mobile shop. Well, you have to do one thing. On a paper, you have to sign yourself on the paper and keep the cash on the paper, take the photo, and send me on this number. I know, I'm not... Don't try honestly, to play with me, you, okay? Don't try to play do with you. Try, I'm, you're having me go around all these places. Do not try to waste my time, okay? I don't try to waste your Delhi. time. I know you are someone who is calling from Delhi. How did you know that? I know everything. How did you know I'm from Delhi? Where are you time? Where are you Oh. Oh, look... Hold on now. Where am I calling from? And don't and don't curse me either. Okay, Tamise Batkaro. I'm from Uttam Nagar. Listen to me. I, I listen to me. You used to work at the at the DC market, huh? DC market, Janakuri. No, I'm from I'm from Mumbai, Bandra, Mumbai. Uttam Nagar. 
Listen, Mukesh, okay? Listen to me. The reason why I got your number is because I'm not happy that you're trying to take money from people. Okay, Mukesh? So? What, what do you mean, do? so? It pisses me off. And now you're going to you're gonna try to dress me down by cussing me? And you're in Uttam Nagar, Janak Puri, and your name is Mukesh? $7,500 you're trying to take from somebody? Mukesh? What's your name? Abgusakio Harahiho. Mukesh. Hey, Bol. Mukesh. Bol. Jalikaro. Bol. I will call you back. You know that, right? Because I know you're still on the phone with me. I know you're probably thinking in your mind, how does this guy know exactly what my name is and where I stay and what my previous jobs are? I'm in Janakpuri, the DC market, and I work for the mobile, the mobile store company. And now I'm scamming people and stealing money from them. And now I've pooped my pants. And I don't know what to do. And I'm, 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 gonna, I'm just going to tell him I live in Mumbai. That's what I'll say. I'm, I'm from Mumbai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he knows exactly where I am, I'm from Mumbai. Once you've wiped your little tukti off your butt, I would hang up the phone. I would stop scamming people. You understand me, Mukesh? Mukesh Kumar? That's what I'm talking about. You know, I've talked about a lot of times where it's really satisfying to get a phone call and get on a scammer's computer and access their system and delete their files and expose their call center. It's another one really when you get that like heart to heart one on one with the scammer and you expose their name, where they're living, where they're scamming out of and say the entire scam to the scammer um, as they're going through it. So shout out to everyone who's helping. Uh, Kolkata. Thank you, Kolkata. The guy did not have a lot of files on his computer. He's either renting it or it's a work issued one. We had the actual script. So if you're, if <clears throat> I'll show you guys and gals, I was literally going through and answering everything before he said the question. The only thing is he did not have somebody do the banking pitch, which I thought was really interesting. You're supposed to be passing it off to somebody else. He was a little bit lazy and didn't do that. Um, he had a couple things here with like the transactions and all that kind of stuff, but, um, that's how, that's how the, these new tech support scams go. Some of them still do the, you have the virus on the computer, or we're going to clean it. But this is kind of a blend of a uh, tech support scam that goes into a banking scam. Oh, I got a call coming in. Hold on. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is this Mikesh? Hi. So everything is over. What do you mean? What everything's over. Frank? What Mikesh? Uh, Mukesh is your dad. No, you're Mukesh. I know you're Mukesh. Go and your mom, okay? You're Mukesh. You're why are you so mad, Mukesh? Like, I don't know why you're so Which mad. Which country are you from? I told you exactly where I was from, Janakpuri. I want to expose you. I want to expose you for stealing money from innocent people. Okay. I'm from Janakpuri, just like you are. No, but I'm not from Janakpuri. Yes, you are, and you worked in the DC market. I work in DC market. You, yes, you worked there before at the mobile phone store. How about this? How about this? Come to Ut come to Utam Nagar West, okay? Uttam Nagar, just come to that and you can come see me. Why would I meet you? Why you are telling me to meet you in Uttam Nagar West or anywhere? I don't want to meet you. Because I just want to expose you for trying to steal money from people. Because it just pisses me that. off. Just do that. Yeah, I will for sure. Do whatever you want to do. I for sure will. Just, to, just at least no accept just the that. fact that I know everything about you. You do not know anything about me, okay? I've hit everything about you. Mukesh, do you want me to send you your picture? from your Facebook? Mukesh, I know you're still there. Here, look, I will, I'll literally send you your photo right now, okay? I'll text it to you. And you're gonna be the new Akash, Mukesh. You understand? You're the new Akash. This is your picture. It's right here. That's you, and you got the fan behind you that you need to clean your fan? What, what do you want me to send you so that you know that I know who you are? That was a fake photo and that was a, a fake A fake mess. photo? That laptop doesn't belong to me. <laughs> that laptop doesn't belong to me, okay? Who does it belong to, your friend? You are a fucking bastard. Just do whatever you want to do, okay? Mikesh. Go and fuck yourself. Don't ever call me. Calm down. That's why you called me back to tell me that the computer doesn't belong to you? Because you're trying to save face? No, I that get doesn't it. belong to me. I know that you have taken my computer access. No, I haven't. saw everything on Google. Photos, well, yes, okay? I have. 
Do you want to explode me? No, I don't. What I do want to do is I want to expose you. From where, where you got this phone number, 844. You are the one who called on that TFN number. Yeah. Okay. Why so is your fan why, why is your fan so dirty in your number. why is your fan so dirty in your photo, by the way? Your yeah, profile yeah, picture. Yeah. Come, come to Uttam Nagar West. Near I know, I'm asking you, why is your fan so dirty in your profile picture? Okay. And tomorrow I'll put you in the Hindu paper if you want. That's fine. Okay. Suck my dick. Okay. Suck my dick. Or else I will f your mom. Do you want me to send you your pictures? Do you want me to send you your pictures? Randy Kalarka, listen to me. I know that you have you have got my one photo, my name. No, I have more than one photo from Gmail. Okay. How do I how do I know all this? So I'm just making up. Account is no longer available. And if you are very close to get my location, just let me know that where exactly. Yeah, it's gonna go to the Hindu paper. That's what I'm saying. Let's freaking go! Somebody, let's go! Guys, this is Makesh. And for all the scammers that do watch this channel, please know that this could be you as well. We will find and expose you to millions of people across the world, anywhere, anytime, any desk. This has been Prager Scammer Payback saying don't get scammed. Oh, <laughs> dude, I love it.